خلاص 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 السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Students in grade seven. السلام عليكم. From the Mali International School. Uh, I will listen to the, all of the students. Uh, okay, hear me. I will revise now with some information we talked before. But now, inshallah, I will study in this chapter adapting to a habitat. Because I think girls, people I will ask. Okay, uh, some students about the last lesson. What is ecology? You can answer me. What is ecology? Who can answer me? Hello, listen to me. Okay, Yasmin. Thanks, Yasmin. What is ecology? Almost there. Can you read your voice? Uh, safe the heaven. What are the, uh, the study of the study of the living things? Thanks. And the living environment. Okay. You don't remember environment safe. Okay, thanks. Uh, okay. what is the habitat? What is the habitat? We will talk habitat today, but we understand Mariam. Okay, Mariam, what is the habitat? It's the place where an organism lives. Thanks, thanks, Maria. I want another one. I want another one about ecosystem. Uh, Rowan, okay, I will mute Rowan. Anyone? Rowan. What is the ecosystem, Rowan? It's the community of living things. Thanks, thanks, no. So, alhamdulillah, I understand. You don't talk chapter three, Rowan, okay, girls? 
We didn't we took a chapter three or no? No. We so took the first page. Okay, I will give you today, inshallah, chapter three, and the same time for the boy will revise. Understand? Uh, after that, there are a lot of questions I will uh, send to you in WhatsApp group on the side of the screen. Don't worry. So now, that is, I want another one. What is the environment? I want another one. What is the environment, my student? Oh no, Ahmed Omar. The wrong environment. Okay, Ahmed. What is the environment, Ahmed? Hello, everybody. Environment. Hello, hello, Ahmed. Okay. I want another one. Um, Abdul Rahman. Okay. Can I read, Mister? Uh, okay, you read Abdul Rahman, but I am asking about uh, about the. I am Dia, Mister. You are Dia? Yes, Mister. Uh, do you know what's ecosystem, Dia? Ecosystem? Uh, yes. Yeah, can you? The community of the living thing. The and, community of the living thing. But the important thing, there is a word we said, Dia. Do you remember? Interact with each other. Do you remember? Live and living, interact with each other. Do you understand? Uh, yes, I understand. If you don't understand, I will repeat, no problem. Uh, I know the ecosystem uh, there is the community of living things. Okay, that's okay, but you must get the interaction between living and living. Thanks. Yes. Th thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I want to You're choose right. another one. Where is the Muslim? Or this one? Huh. What is the habitat? Hey, Mr. Yeah. What's your name first? Muhammad Salim. Okay, Muhammad Salim. Uh, what is the we said? What is the ecosystem over time? System and the community of living things. Let's interact with each other. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Muhammad Salim. Uh, another one. Where is I want a herbivore. Herbivore. Another one. What is the herbivore one? Herbivore is the animal that eats plants only. Thanks. Animal that eats only plants. Just eat plants only. Just to revise. Uh, uh, where... Excuse me, mister. Uh, we took chapter three. Who said what? we Yes, didn't... mister. We, cho we took it. Yeah. So, Rowan, what do you want? Okay. Yeah, yes, mister. We took all the chapter three. I know, but we are... Well, we are... Uh, just we are we are, we are talk about chapter four. We don't talk about chapter three. We will begin now about adaptation. You are with me? You listen to me. So I will ask what we can listen you. Adaptation. One minute. <laughs> Adaptation is the feature that the living things do to survive. So the adaptation here, as you see, these features. Adaptation, a feature that the living thing do to survive. Uh, to understand, well, I must just to understand that is the features. We are in chapter three, page what? Page 42, okay? Go to page 42. You see this image, okay? All of the cards with me? You see this image? About a heron fishing in a river. Uh, so, really now, that is the habitat of this year. That is the habitat. Okay. So, if this year on the, the cannot adapt, that is the problem. So, our reason is about the adapt. I mean, the features. The features. Okay. That's the living thing. Live. The living thing. I will help the living thing to, uh, to survive. It's called adaptation. For example, a flowering plant that grow in a windy habitat. If it can, this flowering plant grow in a, a windy habitat, it will survive. Cannot grow, cannot survive. 
understand? That is the adaptation. This means that there is less chance of being blown over. The short stem is an adaptation to the habitat. Another example, a heron, as you see in the image here. I will give you the image here another time to understand well. What's the hero, Mr. What do you want? What's the hero? I don't understand. Who, who is talking? The yeah. What do you want with the one minute? Uh, what's the after year? I finish the yeah, after I have finished, inshallah, ask me as well. I don't finish okay, the sorry. information. Okay? Sorry for interruption. But uh, uh take this one here. Okay, yeah. So okay. adaptation is the uh, is the features that a living thing have or help living thing to survive. Good, yeah. Okay. Now, what is the hand? Yasmin, what do you want? Uh, I will ask. Uh, I will inshallah answer your question. But we have uh, after you have finished this chapter because I want to finish a bit. Okay. Thank you, Stan. You know, don't talk without permission. These features are called adaptation. For example, flowering plants that grow in a windy habitat have a short stem. We said that's a kind of a In this image, you see what? In this image, you will see this one. This heron. You understand? It's a heron. It's all liquid. I will enlarge it. It is clear now. Fishing in a river. So it can adapt with the environment. Mean it has the features. Features mean the characteristics which make the living thing to survive. Dia. Okay, Dia? Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, Dia. So, Dia, what's adaptation now? Uh, can I answer? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, way, the, adaptation. the way the living thing uh, yeah. uh, live, the way so, in which the living thing live. So we understand now the other features. Okay, they are. Do the features yes, mean yes. what? They are Fe features. They mean the characteristic. Features they mean what? Characteristics. characteristics. What characteristics about uh, these characteristics make the living life uh, to survive? Like we have seven characteristics of the living thing. Do you, do you know? Do you know the other? Yes. Earth variation, uh, in form of the plant, uh, vegetation, and so on. They are the mm -hmm. characteristic traits. Okay, the other one, you are sure now? You, are, you, are, you understand what? Yes. yes. Yeah. Thank you. So now, now, this kind of living things can adapt to the environment. So make it's a feature like it's leg like a lot of uh, it's big uh, a lot of uh, okay characteristics in the in the living to survive this is called adaptation understand so we go to another page adaptation to the season now I want to ask what is the season. First, what is the season? I want to discuss with you. What is the season, my friend? I want one of the girls, okay, Mariam. What is the season, Mariam? Uh, it's a period in which uh, the climate is um, it's very from the other. Thank you, thanks, Mariam. You are, good. you are excellent, thanks. So I want another one, Saif. Uh, Saif, but I want another student. But I want other students to take part with me. Just raise your hand, safe, and Abdurrahman. I want to the student. Abdurrahman, okay, what's the season? Abdurrahman, you are with me? Or no? Yes, Master. What season? We said a period of time. is a, it's a period of time. Like? Like winter, summer, spring, thanks, autumn. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So, Allah, 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 share with me, but I want all students to take part in. Adaptation to the season. There are only a few habitats such as caves where the environment conditions remain the same 
Uh, go to your book here in page 43. We are in page 43. All of the student to me. And most of that, there are periods in the year. There are, I want to say this one. I want to say this one. Okay. It's a period in the year. This is called seasons. The period in the year called season. During which the weather has a particular feature. Do you know particular feature mean? Mean the particular characteristic, particular trait, special trait. Habitat might have a dry season and a wet season, or the cold weather of winter, or the warm weather, and so on. According, because all of them they are examples of habitats in the season. So the season European woodland, different from season in Africa, different from the season okay, in, in the lower the world, and so on. So that is the season we have for season. I will choose another one also. Ahmed Omar, what are the four seasons? Ahmed Omar, Ahmed Omar, what are the four seasons? Ahmed Omar, you hear me or no? Yes. Ah, what Summer, are the winter, spring, yeah. and autumn? Summer, autumn, spring, winter. Thanks. What is Rahaf? The four seasons are? Rahav? Summer, winter, autumn. Uh, yeah. Spring. Thanks. So uh, now, anyone want to talk? Now, I want to, uh, where is the hat? Or Dia, Dia, you are with me, Dia? Yes, Master. Okay, can you read adaptation from season in European woodland, please? Read it now. Okay. Season uh, in read. European woodland. Yeah, read it. And we will underline the important one. Read it. Yeah. Yes. Season in European woodland, we are in page 46. Seasons. Yeah. In European woodland. We said the season is different. You know, okay. Yeah? So now, yes, we want to know what is the difference between uh, different regions. We we'll choose first European woodland. Continue there. Yeah. Seasons in uh, European, European woodland. woodland. In Europe. There are four seasons of the year winter, spring, summer, and autumn. The deciduous trees adapt so to trees. cold, icy weather of winter by losing their leaves. Uh, okay, good. Yeah. Uh, stop. Oh, stop. So, underline this one. You'll underline it with me now. So, uh, deciduous trees. Adapt to the cold ice water winter by loading their leaves. Why? Because these trees have large flat leaves which lose a great deal of water. So it will lose its leaves here. Okay? Understand now that this is yes. European woodland is blanketing and drink. That's it and drink. But in winter, no, it will lose its leaves. Okay? Understand the Anna? Can I complete? Continue. Yes, yes. Continue. The sediest trees have large flat leaves which lose a great deal of water. In winter, the ground is often frozen so that the water cannot pass into the roots. If the trees kept their leaves, they would lose water but would not be able to replace it. They would dry out and die. So now, this, this uh, kind of leaf, it will uh, dry. Why? Because there is losing a lot of, uh, a lot of leaves. Here. So there is losing in the, in the winter. Brown and often frozen. This frozen comes from what? Because the climate is very, very, very cold. So the water can pass into the roots. So the plants, so, so. When the, 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 the water can pass into the root, okay, so this plant will lose water, cannot release it, so it will dry, then it will die. Okay, this is an European woodland. Uh, they are read from the forest of more in, most insects. Okay. Most, insects. Most, insect, most insects spend winter in a state of their life in which they do not need to move or search for food. 
These are the egg and pupa stages. Stop there. Animals. So now I want to ask you, do you remember what is metamorphosis? You remember? We have complete yes. metamorphosis and the incomplete metamorphosis. I want to uh, take part with you. What are kinds? I want to ask what Orchidia or Merabia, okay? So I want to ask another one. We need one. What is the kind? What are the kinds of metamorphosis? Complete metamorphosis and incomplete metamorphosis. Thanks. Complete metamorphosis and incomplete metamorphosis. I want another one now. What is the difference between complete metamorphosis and incomplete metamorphosis? Anyone know? Okay. What is the difference between complete metamorphosis, this happening in the insect, and the incomplete metamorphosis? I will choose. Okay, Abrahman, you know? Okay, Abrahman. Abrahman, you know? They are Dean, you know? Okay, they are Dean. What is the difference they are between complete metamorphosis and incomplete? Can I give examples? You know it? Can I give examples? What? Examples. Examples, example, example, yeah, no problem. Example. Yeah. Complete metamorphosis. Example like a uh, butterfly. And then complete? It starts with egg. And complete like a uh, uh, grasshopper. Okay, but both of them, both of them lay eggs, you know? Both of them lay eggs. This egg maybe uh, go to, okay, another stage. This is called metamorphosis. So, this one are the egg and the pupa stage. Okay, these are the eggs and the pupa stage. After egg, we have a stage called the pupa. And what's that they do? And bats will feed on these insects. Hibernate during winter. You know hibernation or no? Uh, hibernation. What is hibernation? Oh no. Mariam, what's hibernation? You know? It's the period of inactivity. Thanks. In what? In winter. You know? In winter. Like what, uh, Mariam, do you know? Like what? Like the bear. Like the bear. They store food. Um, the food, thanks. To keep a uh, too hypernate. Yeah, thanks a lot. So, uh, I will choose someone to read another one. Who wants to read? Can you read your hand? I will choose the, uh, anyone now to read this important information. Maaz, you want to read? Yes. Maaz, yalla Maaz. Maaz, you are with me? Um, yes, from the Muslim okay. sex. Yeah. We're getting with the what? In, spring, in the spring. Okay. In the spring, uh, the ground warms up. Or, yeah. or wood plants, such as Put snowdrops and pupils, grows from bulbs. bulbs and produces produce leaves and flowers. These plants use the sunlight shining through the pear branches to make food. And early hatching insects that pollinate their, their flowers. flowers. Do you remember uh, flower and the pollination? Yes. Sir. Do you remember flower and the pollination? And this brain goes to the cell states without the leaves and flower and other part. And the animals wake up and search for food. The land birds where they sit and begin to, to uh, rear young. So now yes. I want to ask, okay, Ma, thank us. Ma, thanks a lot. I want another participant. Uh, to take what I mean, what is the, uh, what is pollination, my friend? What is pollination? Who oh, no. Who oh, no. What is pollination? Azan. Azan. Okay. Azan. Okay. Azan. What is pollination? Pollination. Yeah. You don't know? No problem. No problem. I want another one. Abrahman, you know pollination? Yeah, Abrahman? Yes, Mr. Yeah, what's pollination? It is the transfer of pollen okay. grains. Thanks. The transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma. Thanks. Maybe for the same flower, it's called 
okay. uh, of the same flower. Uh, pollination. And the other five is cross pollination. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Mahmoud. is studying well. So here we are talking about pollination here. Understand? So, so actually, insects to pollinate their flower. So the insects are kind of pollination. You're on the way of pollination. The insect just a way of pollination. And some of the leaves of the tree from a shady canopy over the woodland. Canopy means a lot of plants here. Shady canopy. The woodland floor, few plants are in flower. You know, the birds may be merely second or every even third clutches of it. One minute, my students, I will continue. Then you raise your hand as well. And there is more young. It's caterpillar feed on the leaves. In the autumn, the weather becomes cooler again. Trees produce fruits, such as nuts and berries, which are eaten by many mammals and birds. So these birds who eat, uh, those birds which eat plants called the heavy bird. you remember? The leaves of the scissors trees lose their chlorophyll. Okay, what's chlorophyll? The chlorophyll is the pigment inside the leaf, you know? Chlorophyll is pigment inside the leaf here. This pigment in the leaves gives them the color. It is green. The tree lays waste of products in their leaves and in time the leaves fall. Animals that hibernate grow themselves on food to build a fat, this energy store which they will use the leaves. Okay? That is, we'll go to African grassland. The reproduction in Africa is different. My uh, student, concentrate. Don't talk, who's talking now? What do you want? Who is talking? What do you want? Okay. Now I want to choose uh, Abdurrahman al Khudri. Can you read at the beginning of Grassland now? Abdurrahman? Khudri? Yes. Read from the beginning of season in African grassland. The seasons of African grassland. So Abdurrahman, one minute Abdurrahman, to understand the students. So we have many seasons now, okay, before. But in Africa, the same, we have many seasons now. It's different from European, okay? In Africa, the hot in Africa is, uh, the, 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 the cold, the climate in Africa is very hot in most of the region. So, the uh, adaptation here is, is different. Okay, read Abraham. In the Serengeti National Park in East Africa, there is a wet and a dry season. Underline it. The plants are covered by long grass, which Rahman, is eaten stop. by huge numbers of herbivores. Rahman, one minute, one minute. There is a wet and a dry season. So here, underline this one. We said there is a wet. So underline this one now and the dry season here. That's in Africa. Okay, continue, Abraham. Continue. The plants are covered by long grass, which is eaten by huge numbers of, of, of herbivores. herbivores. Okay. Yeah. Zebras, zebras eat the tough tops. The zebras tops. eat the tough tops to the grass stalks, which contains the wind pollinated flowers. Wild beasts. Wild beasts. Well, Geno you know, feed feed you know, feed on the more succulent leaves lower down the plant my friend, my while the young was, shoots. Was so, uh, what does succulent leaves mean? Do you know Or I will choose another student. Succulent means what? The succulent leaves. Oh, you know Abrahman? Another one, you know? What does succulent means? Just I want to, uh, oh, yeah. Brahman Ahmed. Can I answer? Who are you? Have juices. Thanks. Who are you? Abdurrahman Ahmed. Thanks, Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman Ahmed. Yeah, yeah. Abdurrahman Ahmed. Okay, thanks, Abdurrahman. So now. Mr. What is succulent again, Mr. Look, you run that you have juices, uh, Muhammad Salim. Okay, have juices. So okay, uh, uh, okay Muhammad Salim, do you know a lot of uh, uh, leaves which uh, have a lot of water? 
okay? Oh, a lot of juices, yes. this is called succulent. The salad and mean meal oh, yeah. have juices here, you understand? Yes, okay. yes. How must it continue? Continue now. Succulent leaves lower down the plant, while the young shoots and the seeds on the ground are eaten by the gazelles. During so, yeah, the well, stop, Hamasin. Gazelle here, all the students, uh, uh, okay, are here before. Not yes. Uh, yeah, it's the hell. Why? Because gazelles eat just plants. Understand? I will underline it now. Eating gazelles here in a herbivore here. This one in a herbivore. You know why? Because just eat plants. Yes. We took on uh, before. Continue on Muhammad Sillim. Yeah, continue Muhammad Sillim. Continue. Continue. During the wet season. During the wet season, okay. During the wet season, the animals migrate to a to a drier part of the plains in the south. At the beginning of the dry season, they move to the west, where there is a little rainfall and the grass is still thick. In the middle of the dry season, they move to a region where the soil is particularly Fertile and, and the plants uh, are Stop, 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 stop uh, because I want okay. to ask about some features in Africa, Muhammad Salim. Thanks, Muhammad Salim, a lot. So Welcome now I, uh, I, uh, okay, thank you, Muhammad Salim, and inshallah for the excellent student. Uh, I want anyone to uh, give me, uh, Rawan, what do you want? Want something? No, Mr. Okay. So, uh, thank you, Rawan. Uh, so, you understand your Rawan or no? Yes. Understand well. So, now, I want to ask all the students about what are the features now which we have studied? What are the features we have studied about African grassland? Who know? Read your hand. You know, read your hand. What are the features of African grassland now? We have a lot of, okay, a lot of, uh, about the climate and the in Africa, what are the, these features which the animal or the plant adapt to? I want uh, Mariam. What, Mariam, you are okay? What are the features? African grassland has two seasons the okay. wet and the dry season. Thanks. Thanks. They are the features. Uh, another one. Another one. Uh, okay, thanks, Mariam. I want Yasmin Nasser. Uh, yes, Mister. Uh, yeah. What is the? The zebras. Yeah. The zebras there eat uh, the tough tops of the to the, of the grass stacks. Thanks. So they the are. Pollinated the, flowers. The, yeah. So the, the the climate here adapt to the zebra or the of the gazelle to adapt with the environment. Okay. Yes, Mister. Uh, I want uh, uh, Tuka. Tuka. What are the seasons, Tuka? What are the climates here? What are the, the conditions? You know. Uh, climate season for what? For the African yeah. grassland. African grassland. We are talking about African grassland. Uh, it will be dry seasons. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I want uh, what else. Now, we'll go to the another information. Do you know the zebra? That's a of zebra migrating for mid February part of the of the plains. The zebra. Adaptation to a habitat that have uh, a set of environmental conditions about the plants, like a mangrove swamp. A mangrove swamp, you see it, that is the mangrove swamp. The roots, I will enlarge it for you. Here. It's clear now. So the roots are visible because it is low tide here in the roots. So now that is a mangrove swamp here. Adapt to the environment to have. Okay, that's how we read it now. Mangrove swamp occur along the coasts of many countries in tropical climates. 
the mud in which plants grow is moved by rising and falling with the tides. But how does mangrove tree adapt to the environment? Number one, underline it please with me, growing many roots from their trunks. Number one, we will underline it now. Underline with me please. Growing many roots from their trunks. Number one. Growing from their trunks. I will uh, okay show it to you. Like this. So this one. That is the root from the from the trunks here. Okay. So now mangrove trees have a type of tigers by growing in the roots from this number one. The roots spread out over the wide area and deep down in the mud. We call the, the mud here. What is the mud here? Do you see it? What is the mud? I will give it to you now. Okay, is it the mud here? Do you see it? What is the mud? Mud. It is the in the mud. Mud. Understand? Concentrate with students now. What is the mud here? So it grow in mud. Okay. Mangrove trees are adapted to the tide of by growing with some of the trunk and the roots spread over the wide area and deep down in the mud to hold the tree in the place. Any roots hold the tree in the tree. Mangrove trees also have seed that are adapted to the survival in the how when the fruits form is it remains attached to it. So a seed germinate using moisture in the environment here. So that is number two. A seed germinate here. I'll underline it. A seed. Okay. Germinates using uh, moisture in the humid air. And the seedlings, mainly small plants, grow to about 25 centimeters before it leaves it. Why? Because there is humidity. What is humidity, my students? Uh, who know? What is humidity? You know? I want someone to read it hand. Just the Adin, Rawan. Okay, Rawan, I want to hear Rawan, okay. Or Marion Fauzi, I want another student. Uh, what is humidity? Okay, Rawan, yeah. What's the humidity, Rawan? Uh, it's the moisture in the air. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. I want another one. Thanks a lot. Uh, then, what is humidity? Oh, you know that? Okay, before. Another one. I want. Uh, oh, okay, the Hamasrim. What's the humidity? Muhammad With Muhammad Salim and what? It is the amount of water vapor in the air. Thanks. Amount of water vapor in the air. That is the, the humidity. So this water vapor allow uh, these seedlings to grow. Because it is very, very important. Okay? So it remains vertical. Vertical means like that. I'll give it to you. I'll show you, inshallah, now. Vertical means like that. It's vertical here now. It's vertical. All of them, this one. We'll go to tropical rainforest. It's a kind of tropical rainforest. The main feature of the thick forest canopy of branches and trees. That is the feature of the tropical rainforest here. The canopy. I don't mean a lot of like umbrella. It will be a lot of uh, branches here and there. If we cannot finish, if you cannot finish this time, inshallah, my student, inshallah, you study at home of the tropical rainforest, then we will, will inshallah, revive the next time. Then we discuss it, we revise it, and I will uh, send you the question through websites and the worksheets and the through websites 
and through WhatsApp through the group. So, tropical rainforest means one. The main feature of tropical rainforest is thick forest canopy branches and leaves. The seed in the ground below. When seeds fall to the ground and germinate, the seedlings that are produced struggle to find enough light to survive. Why? Because there is a, a lot of features here that allow these plants 